Welcome to Physics Can Be Fun with me, Stephen Thomas. Um, I have dealt with, in another video, the, uh, the aldehydes, which all ended with carbon, double bond, oxygen, hydrogen. So those were the aldehydes where we have a chain, often referred, a chain of hydro hydrocarbons, often referred to as R, ending with C, O, H. And that would be the aldehydes. Now, I say that because but we're talking about the ketones. Now, what is the difference between this and this? Well, the difference is simply that the ketones, the double-bonded oxygen, is usually found with a chain, a hydrocarbon chain, and another hydrocarbon chain. So this double-bonded oxygen is generally in the middle of a chain. Now it can be on the end of it, but generally we're speaking about the ketones having their double bonded oxygen in the middle of a chain. So let us for example put that there and let's have a chain of hydrocarbons like that. So here's a chain on the one side, here's a chain of hydrocarbons on the other side, and maybe we could just end the chain off like that. Um, uh, let's just end this one off with a hydrogen here. So these are the key tones and their name always ends in own. Now let's see how we would name this. One, two, three, four carbons. <coughs> so, methane, ethane, propane, butane, but the ketone end in own. Ketone, so butane, own. Now we look at which carbon the double bonded oxygen is on. And we see it's on, it could be one, two, three, or it could be one, two. So we always choose the shortest chain, and this would be carbon number two. Butane, dash, two, own. And the two in the middle there is to define which of the carbons on the chain this double bonded oxygen which gives the ketone its um, properties or its functional, this is the functional group of a ketone. Do you see how the name ends in own? So that would be butane two own. If we added a few more hydrocarbons and let's say we put a hydrogen there, what would we call that? Well, how many carbons are there now? One, two, three, four, five. So that would be pentane. What number of carbon is it on? Well, it's three, no matter which side. Pentane, three, own. And that's how we specify which carbon, dash, three, dash, own, that we would be pentane 3 own. We could keep on adding um, hydro, uh, to the length of this chain. Let's add the hydrogen on the end here. How many carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what is the name of this substance? Octane dash, now on which carbon is it? Let's choose the shortest. That'd be one, two, three. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're obviously going to choose three. Octane three, own. Name ends in own, shortest chain, and the general formula for the uh, 
ketones is R, with R, C, double bond, O, R, where R stands for a hydrocarbon chain. So here would be the 1R, which would be two carbons long. Here would be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That would be the other R, and here is the carbon with a double bonded oxygen, making it a ketone.